Hi, my name is Gerhard Schwartner and welcome to Selling Power TV. Today we have the great pleasure of meeting with Drew Sechrist. He is the co-founder and CEO of a wonderful new company called Connect the Dots. Welcome, Drew. It's Gerhard. It's great to see you again after all these years. I want to ask you, what was your most memorable sale ever? One was uh, EFI, Electronics for Imaging. So this was probably 2001. Salesforce was still young and we were not the, you know, we were not what Salesforce is today. So it was a very scrappy, you know, dogfight uh, and anybody could have won. We had a deal on, we had an opportunity that we were working with the VP of sales, Frank Malozzi at EFI. Uh, he's still, he's still heading sales at EFI. So a long and excellent career there. And um, we got in late. They were looking at one of our competitors. I think it was SalesNet, maybe. Um, I can't remember for sure. I was doing a triathlon on the big island of Hawaii. And it just so happened that Mark was on the big island as well at the same time. He has a house out there now. And Mark and I, after the triathlon, uh, Mark and I had dinner uh, on the big island. And we were just talking shop a little bit with my girlfriend and his girlfriend at the time, who is now his wife, Lynn. We talked the EFI deal. And I told him where it stood and it was, I thought it was winnable, but it was very tough because we came in late and we were all over it and we were doing a really good job, but it was, it was going to be down to the wire. And he said, you really think that you should be here on the big island right now? Shouldn't you be back in San Francisco winning that deal? And I said, yes. <laughs> so I uh, got on a plane, flew back there. Mark flew back too. We drove down to uh, Foster City to the EFI headquarters. Uh, we met with their CEO and um, and their president and uh, their head of sales, Frank. And uh, and we you know we told them you know, we're here to support you and we want to understand what they needed and we understood it in detail and we pointed out how we could solve their problems now and in the future better than the alternative, and we won the deal and. Um, so I think that was a big turning point in my career as well, because, you know, Mark saw that I was, you know, I was, I was going to do what needed to be done uh, in order to, uh, you know, be successful there and make the company successful. And they turned into a lighthouse account for us for many, many years and said, you know, great things in the press for us and turned into just a great customer that got a lot of value uh, from, from us. So that, that is definitely one that stands out in mind. How do you balance the interaction with the customer so that you in charge of the account, but Mark is still, um, the dominant factor without domineering. Mark at that point had so many other things on his plate that he couldn't run a sales process. He could right. show up and, you know, doing basically he was your, um, he was your star, right? So yet you, you, you had to behave like a manager of a star and so you bring Mark in and say, okay, Mark, here's how, here is your, your role. The number one thing that they need to hear addressed is we are going to support their needs over the course of the next three years, which will inc include, you know, integrating into these other systems and features that we haven't built yet, but, you know, that we'll, we'll put on their roadmap and we'll keep them close at, in consultation as we're doing it. And they want to know that they've got you as a direct person that they can contact. And so setting him up for success, that's what my job was. So he knew exactly the points to hit on so that uh, he could establish the relationship that would win that deal. Well, thank you, Drew. That was awesome. It was a pleasure seeing you and catching up with you. I, I look forward to our next conversation.